All right, so how do we use these folders? How do we pack them and what types are there? Well, there are two types of folders. There's take folders and regular folders. So I'm gonna pack a regular folder right now. Up here, I have a kick, a stick, and some hats. So if I select them all and go to region, folder, pack folder, then what it's going to do is create a new folder track and all of those regions are going to be packed into this folder. Now, one thing to keep in mind when doing this is make sure that you don't select another folder track when you have these regions and you're going to pack them in because what will end up happening is these will go onto that track instead of having their own folder track. Make sure that when you're packing this folder that you have the top channel strip selected and the rest of the regions that you want to have packed into the folder. Then go to Regions, Folder, Pack Folder. They'll all end up on their own folder track with all of the little regions nested inside. Now, how do we get back out of this folder? Well, you can either double click on the background here or you can click here. So now, inside this folder, these kits are being utilized for these regions. So I don't have to have these here. I can go ahead and delete them. Going to track and delete unused. Now we have a folder and a folder track. I'm going to name this folder track drumbeat. Then if I select this folder region and go to region, name regions by tracks and channel strips. Now this folder contains these three regions. And if I wanted to loop that, it'll loop just fine. I want to do that loop for a second. Now down here, this is where folders get really handy. I have this more complex edit. I've rendered out this drum beat as audio and I've done some editing with it. Now, I can't just loop, I can't just grab these regions and hit loop because it's not going to see these as a cohesive whole. To do that, I'm going to select the top track. This is the top channel strip with the edited regions on it. And then I'm going to shift, holding shift down, band select, and then I'll pack that folder. Now, going up to this and going folder, pack folder, over and over again, obviously you're going to start using key commands for this. The key command is shift command F. Let's go ahead and name this edit beat. And then I can go to region and say name regions by check in channel strips. Now it's cool. I can go ahead and uh, loop that out and that more complex edit will be really easy to move around my session. I can also copy it over. So that's a really handy use for normal folders. And then I go up, track, delete unused. Let's try that again. Track, delete unused. Oh, it still thinks these are being used, huh? Well, I beg to differ. Um, right now, when I look at it, I see that there's actually, could be automation data. So it may not want to erase them because it's in an automation mode. But I assure you that if you delete them and you go into this folder, those channel strips will show up without any issue and they'll still have the read mode intact. Now, double click on the background and the next thing we're going to talk about is packing take folders.